Research Introduction Chapter 1 The introduction is the first part of the research paper in Chapter 1 and appears right after the table of contents. It contains the background information of the research topic you will be discussing. It sets the stage for the entire study. Through establishing the issue or concern leading to the research, by conveying information about a research problem. It is important because it is the initial passage in your research paper or study. That's why special care must be given to writing this case. Since readers can be encouraged, or might be discouraged to read the paper. Your introduction draws your reader in, setting the stage for your research with a clear focus, purpose, and direction on a relevant topic. It is a careful presentation of the importance, and validity of the research problem. The introduction is the part of your research paper where you state the reason for you to conduct the study, and solve the problem. Begin by introducing your dissertation topic, and giving any necessary background information. It's important to contextualize your research, and generate interest. Aim to show why your topic is timely, or important. You may want to mention a relevant news item, academic debate, or practical problem. After a brief introduction to your general area of interest, narrow your focus, and define the scope of your research. You can narrow this down in many ways, such as by, geographical area, time period, demographics or communities, and themes, or aspects of the topic. It is essential to share your motivation for doing this research, as well as how it relates to existing work on your topic. Further, you should also mention what new insights you expect it will contribute. Start by giving a brief overview of the current state of research. You should definitely cite the most relevant literature, but remember, that you will conduct a more in-depth survey, of relevant sources in the literature review section, so there's no need to go too in-depth in the introduction. Depending on your field, the importance of your research might focus on its practical application, or, on advancing scholarly understanding of the topic. In many cases, it will do both. Perhaps, the most important part of your introduction is your questions, and objectives, as it sets up the expectations, for the rest of your thesis, or dissertation. How you formulate your research questions, and research objectives will depend on your discipline, topic, and focus. But you should always clearly state the central aim of your research. Take note. While you can briefly mention the research methods you use to answer your questions, do not go into too much detail here, if you are including a separate methodology chapter. Also, if your research aims to test hypotheses, you can formulate them here. 
Your introduction is also a good place for a conceptual framework that suggests relationships between variables 